In this video, you're about to learn how I use DocuSign to send documents to multiple people. Hi there, welcome back to this channel. It's Sofian here. I'm a consultant who helps businesses implement digital signature and workflow automation solutions. And today I'm about to show you how I use DocuSign to send documents to multiple people. Whether you need to send one or more documents to one or many recipients is exactly the same process. And that's what I'm about to show you next. And I will also show you how to set a signing order. I'll also show you how to include someone in the workflow so that they receive a copy of the envelope once all documents have been signed without the need for them to sign or act on the actual document themselves. Let's get into it. To help you understand better the process of sending the um, documents to multiple recipients in DocuSign, I'm going to use an example. And this example is a tenancy agreement which needs to be signed by a landlord and three tenants. I, being the leasing agent, need to sign this and make sure that all parties sign the document so that the tenancy can start. What I want to happen in this document is um, I want it to go to my three tenants, John, Sophie and Samantha first. Once they've signed, I want my landlord, Jack, to sign the agreement as well. I want all parties to receive a copy of the finalized tenancy agreement, including myself plus the accounts team. All right, so I hope you're still with me. Now let's jump into DocuSign. So from the home page, click on new and send an envelope. Here you can upload your document. So I'm just gonna use the lease agreement that I showed you before. Once you've done that, the second step is to add the workflow to our envelope. What I mean by workflow is adding the recipients, their actions, and the signing order. And because we want all the tenants to sign first, I'm gonna start by adding all the tenants here, one after the other. So I'm gonna start by John, then I'm gonna add Sophie, and then Samantha. Now you can see on the right hand side, we've got an action which is needs to sign. And that's the default action that DocuSign gives to all recipients. We don't need to change that action for those because we do want them to sign on a document. However, what we wanna do is set a signing order because we want all tenants to sign before the landlord does. So before I go ahead and add my landlord, I wanna tick the option set signing order and here you can see that by default, DocuSign has given an order to John and it's a second order to Sophie and then Samantha will sign third. That's not what I want because currently I would be causing uh, Sophie to wait until John has finished signing and Samantha would have to wait for Sophie and John to finish signing before she can sign the document herself. So we want all our tenants to receive this document at the same time. So I'm gonna change these numbers here to one so that everybody received the document at the same time. Now that this is done, I can add my fourth recipient and that's gonna be my landlord, Jack. So I'm gonna add Jack's email address. Jack's action needs to sign is correct as well because the landlord needs to sign the document. And now I'm gonna add my fifth and last recipient and that's going to be the accounts team. But the accounts team doesn't need to sign, they just need to receive a copy. So I'm gonna change this role to receive a copy. And I can also check the signing order by clicking on signing order here. And I get this little diagram showing me that I, being the sender, am sending the envelope. So that's the very beginning of the workflow. Then we've got John, Samantha, and Sophie, our three tenants receiving the document in position one. Once they've done their part, Jack will be notified. He's the landlord. So Jack won't be receiving the document unless those three uh, tenants have signed the envelope. And then once Jack has signed, the accounts team will receive a copy of the document as well as all the other recipients of the envelope, including myself because I'm the sender. So I don't need to add myself as part of the workflow. Now I can go ahead and click on next. Now I'm just gonna scroll down to the last page because this is the one that I showed you before. And here we've got our landlord, tenant one, tenant two, and tenant three, who all need to sign this document. So here from the top left, you can see that they have a drop down with all the recipients who need to act on. I don't see the accounts team because the accounts team wasn't given a needs to sign action. We only gave them a receives a copy. So I'm gonna start by adding the fields in the order that I actually see 
um, on the document. So I'm going to start by Jack, who was the landlord in this example, and I want to add Jack's name. You see that when I selected Jack, um, the color went from yellow to green because Jack's color is actually green in this example. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, add the name and a signature. Then I also want to add a date. Now that I'm done with the landlord, I can go to my tenant number one, and that was John. So I can do exactly the same thing, drag and drop a full name, signature, and a date. Now I can move on to my second tenant, Samantha or Sophie, doesn't matter. Name, signature, and date. And as you can see, they all have a different color. So I know exactly who I'm adding the field for. If I make a mistake, so let's just say I move on to the last tenant, but I forget to change the recipient here and add another name. Well, I can either delete it and toggle um, to Sophie from here, or I can just change the ownership of my field and select Sophie instead. And you can see the color has changed to purple. And I'm gonna go ahead and add the rest of the fields. And actually I'll show you a quick, quick way to um, copy and paste fields. I can just select those two, do a control D and copy them here. And then I don't forget to change the ownership just right here. And once you've done that, that's it. You can just click on send. And so that's it, that's how you send an envelope to multiple recipients using DocuSign. And that's how easy it is to use DocuSign to send documents to multiple recipients. If you're after some one-on-one -on -one or team training, you can explore my consulting options using the link in the description of this video. I upload this kind of content weekly, so if you want to be notified of the next videos that I post, make sure to hit that subscribe button, and I will see you in the next lesson.